Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it's time for more Nuclear Throne. So we are in the midst of update number 40, which added flame shotguns, which are pretty darn cool. And we're also at a crossroads here. I think it's time in the series that we start to get a little bit more serious. Mostly we've just been trying random characters that looked interesting and not really working too much on getting better at the game. And I think it is time to start considering our future. Uh, there are characters that I think have stood out for me uh, in terms of play. Steroids, Robot, despite the, the last episode, which was horrible. And uh, Crystal is a character that I play as almost exclusively when I'm not playing on uh, camera. And Crystal's just badass. More HP, the ability to shield herself. Crystal is great. And I think that pretty soon we're going to have to focus in and we're going to have to hone our skills. And we're going to have to try to actually push to get deeper and deeper into the game. But this episode, we're just going to be silly. We're going to play as Melting. And Melting is a character that is very much a feast or famine type character. You can either do pretty well as Melting, or you can do extremely bad. So Melting runs can can last uh, 30 seconds or 30 minutes. Let's hope that we don't uh, have too many 30 second Melting runs, but uh, you're gonna see why as we start up here. Melting only has two health, but Melting has uh, probably the best activated ability in the game, which is the ability to explode all corpses on screen. And this is uh, far more powerful than I at first gave it credit for because it can start giant chain reactions that can essentially clear almost an entire level, especially with things like maggot corpses and uh, like lots of rat corpses around from the plague rats. You can really do huge amounts of damage. I do believe it's the alternate skin of melting. I can't tell for sure. Uh, but melting also gets more HP, or excuse me, more XP, which means that Melting levels up faster. You can see I'm not quite through level one yet. Should still have a few more baddies and I'm getting pretty close to a level. Very often uh, level one is kind of a, uh, a a low XP level, but this time around we got almost one level. So kind of behind, I would have liked to have seen a, a full, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, we don't want to be here. All right, well, forget everything I just said because uh, we ended up pinned in by a uh, special spawn scorpion. So yeah, it looks like we did have the uh, special skin, the alternate skin, the B skin, I believe as, as they like to call it. We'll do some blowing up. And uh, yeah, remembering to use that ability is a huge thing for me. Uh, the machine gun, which I am partial to. Uh, I like the machine gun because it's it's like the pistol in that you can go shot, 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 or you can just hold it down for uh, a lot more shots. So it's, it's not really much of an upgrade over the pistol, but uh, I like it better because it just means that I don't have to stress out my finger uh, with all of that button mashing when I just want to spam bullets. So this should be a pretty good one here. I can probably just... Ooh, hello. Nice. So yeah, using the uh, corpse explosion there pretty much meant that I got everything in almost one shot and then uh, finished off the rest. So yeah, you can see how you can kind of chain corpse explosions. Throne butt, bigger corpse explosions. Let's see, uh, compared to what we've got here, we only have two life, so more HP for med kits does nothing for us. And uh, sharp teeth and gamma guts, while they are uh, decent talents in their own right, and uh, actually kind of, you know, pair together well, I think they're not going to beat throne butt. So we're going to take throne butt here and we're going to go forward. We're going to push forward. We're going to see if we can uh, actually manage to do anything at all. Somebody's setting off an explosion off screen somewhere. Oh, there we go. We can do a corpse explosion and just uh, absolutely wreak havoc on some folks. One more there. You can see, again, I mean, I am chaining together some pretty crazy stuff here. Oopsie, there we go. So uh, at this point, yeah, I want Bolt Marrow as a talent if I can get it. So I'm going to definitely do as much as I can here to uh, make sure that I'm getting all my XP. I don't think I've seen my canister yet, have I? Nope, because it's right there. And we will get a mutation, so that's excellent. And again, fingers crossed for uh, Bolt Marrow for the Homing Bolts ability. You know that it's starting to get serious because I'm starting to remember the names of some of these actual things. So there we go, Rhino Skin. That is our absolute number one priority, picking up Rhino Skin. Uh, with Rhino Skin, we can now survive two, maybe three hits 
and uh, that is all of a sudden a uh, pretty big deal. Oh, just corpses exploding everywhere. They really want me to take that grenade launcher, huh? Uh, the grenade launcher, you know, would... Ooh, there we go. So that was a, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty close one, because that could have been really bad had I not all... Ooh, that's the bandit. Hi, I, I didn't even see you there, bud. I didn't even see you there. Great. Get right back into it. That's that's melting, folks. That's how the cookie melts. Right there. And we're just going to start using those explosions because we can, right? That's the uh, definite thing with melting is you need to make sure that you're using those abilities. And active abilities have been a huge weakness for me. Uh, they definitely have been. And uh, I know that and I'm aware of that. And that's one of the things that uh, you need in order to fix a problem. you got to be aware of the problem. And uh, we will take that grenade launcher now, you know, just for fun. Oh, what a dodge. Clutch dodge there. All right. It's a pretty big first level. I like it. Uh, so again, I do like the machine gun, so I will take the machine gun over the revolver, and I will try to grab that XP so I don't lose it. And let's go ahead and use our corpse explosion. And let's not get hit. There we go. All right. So uh, we're... Almost doing well here. Let's just see. Let's see. So we've got uh, impact wrists. Okay, sure. That's something that uh, I like. I probably overvalue impact wrists, but I enjoy it. Uh, last wish. We're definitely not in last wish territory. Bloodlust might seem nice, but with only two health, there's really no point. And uh, plutonium hunger. It's great. It sucks in uh, all of your XP. I believe it also sucks in ammo and things like that. But the main reason that you want it is you want to suck in that XP. So... Uh, yeah, it pretty much sucks it in from anywhere on the uh, screen, anywhere visible on the screen. So that is a huge plus. Uh, explosions from corpses don't hurt melting. I don't know that I have explicitly said that, but I hope you've, you've seen that, because there are plenty of explosions that probably should have murdered me if I, <laughs> if I hadn't been uh, immune to them. Uh, yeah, so again, blowing up corpses, trying to uh, actually make use of our corpse explosion ability, and uh, yeah, I'm a little imprecise with my grenades. So we're going to make the switch over to the machine gun, which will allow us to start clearing out. There we go. Let's see, it looks like the corpse explosions uh, deflect the uh, bullets or the uh, the slime or the sludge or the poison coming from the scorpion. So that's an interesting piece of information to have. All right, all right. Let's not get too crazy here. want to make sure that we're getting all our XP and we want to consider the sledgehammer for a moment and then elect not to take it and finish up the level. I'm pretty happy with where we're going in this run. Rhino skin pops up just in the nick of time. Uh, so let's take it. Let's not spend so much time talking about rhino skin and let's instead watch out for uh, things that might kill us, especially the bandit, which uh, will definitely kill us if we are unawares as we were before. Okay, so there's our bandit. And we're going to make a quick-ish work of our bandit. There we go. Uh, maybe you can slightly tell that I've been practicing off-screen, uh, trying to just uh, work on my aiming, just trying to, in general, just trying to get better at the game. Uh, this isn't a series where I want to do all of my growth on screen. You know, I want to play this game for you, but I also want to uh, play this game for myself, and I want to get good at the game uh, off-camera. And I want to also grow on camera. So I'm not so much emphasizing only playing this game on camera. I am definitely uh, happy to play it off camera. I do enjoy playing it in my downtime. And uh, hopefully I can gain a little bit of skill. And so I don't look quite as ridiculous in some of these videos as I have in the past with my poor, poor play. Uh, Throne butt, sure, why not? Uh, comparing it to everything that we have, slower enemy bullets is nice. Uh, we don't have any uh, weapon that would benefit from longer arms. We left a screwdriver and a sledgehammer previously. Don't touch the frogs. Okay, I, I will uh, make sure not to. So I think the sewers or close quarters levels are really uh, the places that Melting's ability shines, especially for me uh, personally. This is a place where the ability shines uh, because you can start these massive chain reactions. That, ooh, I didn't even see what hit me. Okay. Was it a shot from the uh, bloated guy? I did. I really wasn't. I was caught completely unawares. Oh, there we go. See, so we'll uh, take a couple of uh, ticks of life off that rat with an explosion. 
Again, just the, just that that ability to chain things together. So I'm so paranoid of these mimics. Uh, I do have the grenade launcher, which means that if we can find the sewer uh, sewer cap, which is actually right here, uh, we can go to the secret level. So yeah, I guess we should do that. I believe if I pop the sewer cap, it'll kill everything on the level. And if I'm in a right, the right position, I'll, I'll then get the XP. Go. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with the level. I don't want to accidentally, uh, accidentally activate the real portal. So there we go. Oh, wow. Good shot. Good shot, Dave. There you go. So we're going to head down to, to Turtle Town here and uh, see what we can grab. Okay, low on HP. Yeah, no crap. I'm not sure if the weapon here is better or what. I mean, I think there's just, you know, the, the benefit of coming to this zone is that it's another level, which means another XP canister, which means, you know, more chances to level up. And on a character like Melting that already has a little bit more of an advantage, I think that's a, that's a big deal. Okay, we got our rat friend up there. So we've got one down here somewhere, right? Yep, there he is. Okay, and we killed our rat and I think we're all done. Got more life. An assault rifle that we don't really care about. But yeah, again, that was just bonus bonus XP, I guess, is the reason that you want to go to a secret level like that. Because uh, you're going to walk out of that level in a better position than you went in, assuming that you don't take some dumb damage or something like that. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to gonna blow up this uh, little fire guy here, if I can actually get a grenade to go to the correct spot. There we go, because I just don't, I don't care for that at all. Oh, hello. And I'm going to kill myself. Okay, somehow I did not. I can't believe that. I I don't even I don't even know how that happened. Just thanking the luck gods right now. Hello. Getting a little bit quiet because things are a little bit serious and indeed uh, a little too serious. So, you know, as I said, that's melting. That's what happens with melting. That's how the cookie crumbles with melting. Uh, I'm going to die a lot. I don't expect to make any significant progress at all during this episode. I'm just having fun with a different character and just trying something that's a little more challenging, stretching my legs out, uh, just trying to kind of get a feel for things, trying to enjoy myself uh, playing this game because, you know, it's a game and we should enjoy playing games. Shouldn't we? Machine gun again. I'll take it. There we go. No complaints right there. So let's take a look at the mutations we've got here. What do we like? Scarier face is always good. We don't have a shotgun, so shotgun finger is not going to do much. Gamma guts uh, is nice to have. I, I do uh, play poorly, so when enemies hit me, it would be nice to get them back. But again, we've got two life. So pretty much anything that touches us that does damage is going to significantly affect us. So scarier face has to be the way that we go here. I guess it doesn't have to be the way that we go. It's the way I'm choosing to go. Gotta remember to use that explosion. And you know, this is actually a good practice for me because it, it actually gives me the opportunity to remember to use an activated ability, which is something that I have been uh, notoriously lacking at. Uh, so right back into it here, right back into it. And this also gives me incentive to tighten up my play in the early game. And I think if I tighten up my play in the early game, I will sort of automatically tighten up my game and uh, my play in the later game as well. So, you know, helping me learn to dodge, forcing me to learn to dodge uh, better, to pay more attention, to be constantly aware. Uh, you know, I think it's a great thing. I'm taking the screwdriver just because uh, I can't really say that the screwdriver is a weapon that I believe is going to take me far. In fact, I think it's a weapon that's going to most likely get me killed. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I want you. Ah, eh, darn. Eh, it's just ammo. I probably wasted more ammo trying to shoot that crate open than I would have gotten from the crate itself. Uh, we have a screwdriver, but I'm not willing to invest in uh, the melee attack build for this character. So uh, recycle gland is okay. We, we do only have a revolver, so that would mean getting some of our bullets back. Uh, but yeah, I think it's plutonium hunger all the way here. So we're going to go for it. 
might end up being a shorter episode than normal. I might just call it after this one because, you know, this is fun, but it does get kind of old knowing that I can't really make any progress doing this. Uh, but that ability uh, to, to blow everybody up is darn cool. And you're seeing it kind of uh, at its best right there. Wow. Okay. I can't believe that I actually dodged that stuff. I will tell you straight up, I should be dead. And I am now dead. All right, we'll do one more, and then we're going to just have to call it here, because this is nothing more than a novelty at this point. And, you know, I said that at the beginning. This will be kind of a novelty run, and that is what it has proven out to be, so. But we're having fun, right? The assault rifle, I just can't get behind it, uh, because it, it feels like I'm wasting so much ammunition. Okay, there we go. Barely, barely managed to uh, sort of save ourselves. Not a big deal, though because there wasn't really that much to grab, although, you know, 154 ammo, so we're doing well on ammo, so no complaints, no complaints at all. Try to get rid of him quickly, because otherwise he was going to go ahead and finish us off. I need some corpses, there we go, a few corpses here and there that I can benefit from. There we go, almost killed myself there. Oh, just managed to grab that, and then I'm dead. So yeah, that's melting. Uh, melting is, I think, probably an extremely powerful character in the right hands. Uh, I, however, have some of the wrongest hands you've ever seen. So the series does continue. I enjoy the support that I'm getting uh, from everybody who's watching. I think this is one of those things that I'm just committed to, regardless of what the analytics would tell me, uh, because I'm just having fun. And I like uh, where I'm going with this game. And I, I like uh, being a part of the Nuclear Throne community. I am immersing myself in the community more and more now and I'm having a great time uh, playing the game. I'm definitely looking to do several more episodes. There will be a point when the, when the series will stop, will kind of be paused until the game is released. But for now, I'm having fun, and I am just going to keep on trucking. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.